Well, before we dive into this topic, let me just give some food for thought. I looked this up before the show today. The average lifespan of a marriage in the US is seven years, okay? That is not a hopeful statistic. And I would guess, fairly certain, that a marriage between two Hollywood actors has an even shorter lifespan. And that makes Pierce Brosnan and his wife, Keely Shea Smith, an exception to all rules. They have been married for 22 years. He speaks so highly of her. Every time that they appear in public together, they look so affectionate and close. And it's just a nice, positive, wholesome thing to see. But people on the internet can't have that. The they have to tear wholesome. it down. Yeah. So I saw this tweet that went viral from an account on X called RX Red Pill. <laughs> they showed a before and after photo of the couple. Uh, you can see that Pierce Brosnan doesn't have the grays in these photos. So these are quite old photos. So it shows that he uh, looked the same uh, relatively in e each photo. but. His wife gained some weight. And their caption says, your daily reminder to avoid marriage. Because we have to find a positive example of marriage and tear it down and defile it because we hate everything wholesome and we hate love. Yeah. like That it, is the, the summary of that post for you. The, the, the amount of people that were just upset at the fact that this dude, what, because the dude has options, because he's famous and has money and he's not exercising those options because he's found someone that he loves and doesn't want to leave was certainly very upsetting to a lot of people. Well, what that sounds like is I wish I was Pierce Brosnan. I wish I had options. Yep. So I'm going to LARP in my head that I am Pierce Brosnan and divorce my wife. That is like his relationship is the like the goal. Like the idea like she she's put on a little bit of weight. Yeah, you know, fine, fair enough. But like it's not like she has ballooned into an immovable object. <laughs> you know, she's not housebound. So it's like obviously they have a great relationship between the two of them because they they're, they're not in the tabloids getting arrested for abuse, spousal abuse mm -hmm. you know like there, there's no there's no stories of of secret mistresses or she's banging the pool boy or whatever like for all the evidence that your average person looking from the outside has is they have like the ideal relationship the relationship that everybody hopes they have when they get into a real relationship i don't get why there are so many people in the red pill area that well actually i mean i i do get why there are just like every other kind of like niche group of people there's people that are are haters in there so you know that's it but like you know, the, the, I don't. They, they they don't deserve any of the criticism that they've got. They, that everybody should should hope that they have a relationship like that. It it really to me it speaks to the fact that the internet doesn't really easily promote the idea of anything positive or happy. Right? That's not what the internet thrives on. The internet thrives on criticism and discontent. To be fair, mm -hmm. right? And there's not a photo of these two together where he doesn't look like the happiest dude I've ever seen exactly. in my entire life. Like, how can you hate on that? Like, I, I'm not going to hate on that. Let the, like, there, who was it? The No Soup for Knowles said, guys, genuine question. Is this a W? And people are like, like, is that a question? To him, it's a W. It doesn't really matter whether you think it is mm -hmm. or not. Well, they said two things can be true at once. It's good for wives to stay in shape. True. And secondly, you're an idiot if you think this guy isn't happy. Yeah. And just because you or I might um, put that higher on the preference, right? That, that the woman that you're with stays in shape. Yes, for certain people, that's going to be a higher priority or preference. It, it's clearly not for at him. At the same and that time. You're not going to be as attractive as you were in your 20s. It yeah. doesn't matter who you are. This woman was born in 1963. So what would that make her? She's 60 years old right now? Yeah. Roughly, yeah. Okay, she's not going to look as hot as she did in her 20s or 30s. That's just the facts of life. Are we all going to divorce each other once we get old and ugly? Well, I mean, because that's not going to lead anyone to happiness. But to be honest with you, like I said, like she's put on weight, but she doesn't look like she's like she's not. Like she was pretty to start with, and I think I've talked about like the difference between young and pretty on the uh, like with you guys before. Like yeah. there are young women, like you can be young 
and think you're pretty, but you're just young. And then when you hit 40, oh, look, you were never pretty. You were just young. She was pretty. And so she is still like she is not an ugly woman. She's just a little heavier than most people would consider an ideal weight. But at the same time, like there are a lot of dudes that like thicker women. You know, I mean, again, this is another thing that I've been complaining about. I complain about big sloppy butts, you know, so. Well, even just a couple of weeks ago, Pierce Brosnan did an interview with Fox News that I read talking about his marriage. And this might shed some light on, you know, why he hasn't traded her in for a new model. He (laughs) said, we love each other a lot and we've been down the road. We've seen many, many hardships as families do, as we all do. Watching someone grow up with you and grow old with you is a spiritual journey to watch each other change whatever it may be the hair the waist it's the love in the heart see that's just so Mm -hmm. wholesome i always knew james bond was wholesome deep down (laughs) and he also said in the past i truly loved her for her person not only for her beauty and now i'm loving her even more that she is my children's mother i'm very proud of her and i always seek to be worthy of her love that's I again, how can you hate on that? How can you have anything negative to say on that? Yeah, I remember watching hate on it because you can hate on yeah. everything. That's I, all your deal is. I did remember seeing an episode of some show where this guy kills his uh, like this cop show where this guy kills his wife because she lost the weight because he liked her the way the size that she he was. killed her over Wait, there. Wait, what? Huh? Well, no, because then she started getting attention from men and it made him really, really jealous. And mm. uh, yeah, so uh, you know, he liked her the way she was when nobody else. Well, wanted. let's not take it to that yeah. extreme yeah. where we're gonna kill her if she loses weight. Yeah. Um, we just got a $20 one. Says Brosnan has the right idea. He doesn't have to worry about anyone without a forklift swooping in to snatch <laughs> up his lady. Christ. But beware, guys. Ladies pulling the pin on the old fat grenade after vows are exchanged after vows exchanged isn't a myth. Well, you know, I'm not choosing to take such a negative take on this. I yeah, refuse. like Well look, obviously no one should be overweight and you should work no matter how old you are to be healthy and yeah like being overweight is bad we all agree on that yes i don't know why this guy's marriage has gotten in the red pill crosshairs though like him particularly it's because of his fame and uh, first of all also because he played james bond and james bond was a man who had has sex with a lot of beautiful women so maybe it fits the okay know. he's not james bond he's a real person but he's also you know? a famous actor who the idea is that this is a this is not a dude who would be trapped in a relationship if he didn't want to be right but that's how they would sure. say it. that's not what i'm saying that this is not a dude who's trapped if he wanted to divorce her and have a, a younger model that was better looking or thinner whatever they think he could have it if he wanted to and i think for a lot of them they have a hard time comprehending why someone with options would stay in a situation that they themselves don't see as ideal even if the person they're judging does see it as ideal i saw a similar post talking about declan rice a footballer uh he's a multi-millionaire athletic 6-1 elite footballer and yet he settles for a fat white girl i don't understand this world anymore and someone (laughs) replied saying uh, don't arg- don't want to argue with this. She was there before the fame. You don't drop that. And the original poster said, she's a good stepping stone, but there are new mountains to be climbed when you become a premium football player. Uh, you can't be bringing a girl like that to an award night with 10 out of 10 Latinas. <laughs> Specifically, Specifically 10 out of 10 like, Latinas. Yeah. You're just trying to sound like a douche. Yeah. Right. I think that this is a LARP because they wish that they were the footballer. They wish they were the famous rich actor and they're not. They're not the guy with limitless options. They're not Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. They're LARPing that they are and thinking I would be making different decisions if I were him. Yeah. But you're not him. He's like, I would have the 10 out of 10 Latinas every time if I could. But since I can't, he should do it in. uh, I I can live vicariously through him by doing that. I just like that uh, Pierce Brosnan is one of the few Hollywood actors that is providing a positive example of fidelity, loyalty, wholesome family values. I'm just never going to understand the desire like I like it when people are happy like I like to see the positive stories I like to see the stories where somebody's uh 
promoting something wholesome or is living this life. Like whenever we get, we don't even cover it that often because it's not really a story per se, but whenever we hear these stories of like Alexa Panavega leaving Hollywood, getting married and moving to Hawaii uh, to be religious with her boyfriend or, or her husband or whatever, like I like those stories. I sure. think that those are uplifting and wholesome, but for some reason, whenever people read those stories, if they don't like it, they're like, well, uh, why would they do that? Why would they, why would they leave this? Like, why would they want to leave Hollywood. Well, I can give you ten. I can. You if you were Listen, in it, you would yeah. know. Yeah. Go, yeah. If you've never been and spent time in Hollywood, you shouldn't be uttering that phrase. Yeah. Like there are ample reasons to leave Hollywood. It just it makes no sense. There are probably me. more reasons to leave than to go. Yeah. I'll just never understand. I, somebody in the chat says misery loves company. And I guess maybe that's it, right? Is people want to promote it? Also, especially if you're doing it on Twitter, it's good for engagement. Yes. Negativity always uh, bolsters Rage baiting engagement. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what people like to do the most these days. That's why people like to repost content that has nothing to do with them because they know that if it's negative enough, people will engage because people feel drawn to it. Uh, yeah. Facebook, Meta did those surveys years ago when they when they quiz people they had like these ad agencies run all these surveys with people what is it and they had psychologists figure out what gets people to repost what gets people to engage with posts it was negative stuff mm -hmm. all the time it's always the stuff that pisses you off which is why it's where rage bait headlines come from right even if it has nothing to do with what you're reading mm -hmm. all whatever it takes to get you to click on it mm -hmm. and this guy's personal life being that much of a fascination in lieu of being something so wholesome i just i don't get it yeah but uh when I look at Leonardo DiCaprio and his dating life, which also gets a lot of attention from the media, I unfortunately just see it as a guy who's getting used for his fame and his money. Yeah. And it's and a, that's sad. <laughs> like, that's sad. It's, uh, but it's like... There's two parties who are engaging in a transaction. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.